I decided to do a makeup look. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's literally like 10 o'clock at night and I decided to get off of my bed and off of Netflix. I did my hair, I put some clothes on and to go nowhere because I'm just exhausted of being in bed watching Netflix. But I decided to do a makeup look. I'm using a lot of the Ilia products. I've never tried them before, but I've heard really good things and I definitely like the natural, dewy, soft look. So I'm gonna be using some of these and I bought a couple things. So I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. And I just feel like your eyebrows are like a frame. They frame your face. So that's why I usually like to start off with them. And here I'm using the MAC Pencil in Lingering. So I'm gonna start with that. And I'm just gonna frame, frame my eyebrows. Yes. Like I said, I like messy, kind of those soap brows. Um, so I'm just following my natural hair growth. So you see, I just kind of made a frame. And then I'm going to be going in with Beguile. I think that's what it's called. Um, from MAC. This is their brow set gel. And it's like a little, like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a little kind of gold reflective color. So I like this one because I don't like my brows to look harsh. So I'm just going to comb through my brows. And then I'm going to go in... This is a smudger brush by It Cosmetics. I'm actually going to try the Ilia concealer because um, I bought this one and it's in the color Suma. I don't know if it's gonna match. Might have been too dark. I'm seeing that now, but it's okay. So I'm gonna just go in and shape my brow. And then I'm gonna go in again with a little bit of this Ilia, Ilia concealer. And I'm gonna put that all over my lids. This is gonna work as my base. Now, I think I should have gotten a little bit lighter concealer. Cause I definitely, I think this matches me like almost exactly. But I always like a little bit of a lighter concealer. But it feels so smooth and like, it smells kind of good too. Um, so I decided I wanted to use um, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I figured that everybody has this or has something similar. So I'm going to be using this. And mine's brand new. I've actually never used it. And I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the orangey vibes lately. So I'm going to be using this Morphe M433 brush. It's just a little like fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with... I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use one, two, three, the third one. So if you have this palette, just the third one here. I'm going to dip into that. I'm going to dip into that and I'm just going to rub that all over my lid. I like to always uh, bring my shadow up and kind of like in windshield wiper motions. And just put it here. But I'm going to put that all over. I want to go in and kind of, this is pretty as a base, but I want to go and kind of deepen here. So I'm going to go... I'm gonna go in with the one, two, three, four. The fourth color here is kind of a mustardy, mustardy brown color. And I'm gonna put that and kind of create a little bit of a, more of a crease. Um, and I think I'm gonna use this one. It's a Morphe M573. It's a little bit more dome shaped. So I'm gonna go in with that. Um, okay, so I think 
I think I want to add something a little different. So I'm gonna go in with this second shadow here. Kinda wanna brighten up the lid. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my finger. And I'm gonna place it right here. Cause I love shadow here like right in the center to brighten it up and blend um, so I think I'm gonna go in with this one it's the last shadow on the last row I think I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm gonna pat a little bit of that all over I know it looks a little crazy right now, but I want to do my mascara because I'm going to clean everything up after. So I'm going in with this Lancome Eyelash Curler. And I like to press right at the root. I press once. I go to the middle of my lash. And then I go to the end of my lash. And I go in one more time. And I press right at the root and I lift up. So next, I'm going in with the Ilia Mascara. This one is After Midnight. I haven't tried this. This is the first time I'm trying it. It's the Limitless Lash Mascara. But I've heard really good things, so I wanted to try it. Oh, it's kind of cool, do you see? It's like a little, little comb. That's cool help separate the lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. And this is an SPF 40 and I got the color Formosa. So I'm gonna cut in a little dropper. I'm gonna pour it here. And I'm actually gonna put it on with a sponge. That's just how I usually apply my foundations. So I thought I would do this the same way. And I have a lot of redness, so I tend to like like medium coverage foundations. But this, oh my god, I really like this. Can you see that? It looks like skin. And Beauty Blender is always my best friend. So then, I'm going to be going in with the Ilia Concealer. Um, again, it's in the color Suma. I'm not going to go in with my brightening or anything because I wanted to see how much coverage this has. So I'm going to go in with this. And it looks a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I think it's exactly my skin tone. And okay, go ahead and just press this in. And this, I just kind of drag it out and kind of clean up any of that extra shadow that I had. Doing the same here. Okay, so next I want to go in. This is the Ilia At Last. It's the multi stick. And you can use it in different areas. I just like going in with my beauty blender. I'm gonna smile. This thing here and here. And I'm going to blend that into my cheek. I'm gonna actually grab a little more. And then place that. And I always like to bring my color up. I feel like it makes your face look more defined. Oh, I actually really like this. And this is their polka dots and moon beans. This is their illuminator. So I think I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm gonna kind of rub it on here and then place it. It's a little bit drier. Let me go in. I'm gonna warm it up with my fingers. Oh, that's really pretty. 
I'm gonna go in with, um, again, the Jaclyn palette. I'm gonna use this really bright, like mustardy orange. And I'm gonna place that right under my lash line. And I'm gonna go in with like a small little like fluffy brush. And place that under here. thing for this side and I love having a little bit of a brighter lash line but I do think I want to bring a little bit of it in the outer corner even though I'm allergic to red pigment I think I'm gonna go in with this like deep color and this is the one two three four the fifth color is like a burgundy and I'm gonna mix it with the one right above it and I'm just gonna lightly dip into these I think I would like a little bit more depth right in here. I'm just gonna lightly place this, lightly place this here. Perfect. Down right there. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go in and blend this out. A clean brush, or the one I used at the beginning. Blend it out. And I'm gonna go back in with the Limitless Mascara. I'm placing it on my bottom lash. They've repackaged this, but I'm gonna go in with the Ilia powder. Okay, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of the powder, go in with my sponge. And like I said, I love dewy, but I don't want to be oily. I'm setting all of this. And since I have the little multi stick, I'm gonna put this on my lips. mauve color and I just got this in today this is the lip glow oil from Dior and I got this in today and I'm wanting to try it I love the one it smells really good too okay well, this is the finished look, and this was mostly using Ilia products. Overall, the mascara, I was a little bit iffy about it at the beginning. I was like, uh, um, but I actually really like it. You can tell, my lashes are super long and like super separated. Um, I do love the little At Last multi-stick. I love how it looks on my lips. This do your lip oil. I'm gonna get all of them. Oh my god, my lips are super soft. But my favorite thing out of all of all of everything I've tried from Ilia has definitely been the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 because it looks like skin. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's literally like a serum. My skin feels so good. Um, so I love this. I'm gonna be using this every day. Um, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed my little middle of the night makeup look. I'm off to wash all my makeup off and I hope you enjoyed. And please leave your comments down below, share, like and subscribe. And if you want to see other looks, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.